Hello friends, welcome back to Endo Tales from Life. In this episode, we are going to talk about the importance of the newly launched plastic irrigation needles in endodontics and we are also going to compare two beautiful products that are available in the Indian market right now. So before we begin, let's disclaim that we do not have any financial interest towards these products and hence it's going to be an unbiased comparison. Way back in 1983, it was emphasized that 30 gauge irrigation needles are very important for improving the flexibility of the irrigant delivery needle and also to reach fine and thin canals. Any irrigation needles that are bigger than 30 gauge may not enter the apical thread easily and also these thicker gauge needles which are hypodermic basically they do not have a safe end and can also cause irrigant extrusion in the root canal. So what has been a gold standard for root canal irrigation in the past decade are these 30 gauge metal irrigation needle with the safe end and double side port. Though these needles perform pretty well in thin, I, I mean in broad and wide canals and straight canals, they are ineffective in curved canals. And narrow canals. As you can see in this demonstration, when I'm trying to use these 30 gauge metal needle in an artificial block, uh, you can see once the needle goes past the curvature, they get deformed, and when the needle gets deformed, the cannula is very thin, and hence the flow of the irrigant is also affected. So, this results in inefficient irrigation, and which may also require multiple needles for a single case and even then it may not be an effective method of irrigant delivery. So recently a Swiss based company launched a polypropylene based uh, irrigation needle which are 30 gauge which are have the side vents, double side vents and they also have a good taper which is well received by uh, all the clinicians and endodontists across the world. So in India, Densplay Malifa have their true anatomy irrigation needle which is this plastic or polypropylene based irrigation needle with the 30 gauge end and the side port. The beauty about this product is that in spite of curvature or in spite of you know intentional bending as you have done in this you can see the flow is still not affected. And a recent product that has been launched uh, again in the Indian market which is also ma made in India is the twin dent needles. So these are also similar 30 gauge irrigation needles. Both of them are almost similar with slight difference in their make and uh, dimensions on design I should say. We are going to see exactly that in this video. So on the left you can see we have the dense place true anatomy irrigation needle which is relatively longer compared to the uh, twin dent and also the twin dent is pre-bent. They have a 75 degree angle to the long axis whereas the true anatomy needle is not pre-bent but it has a 60 degree angled cannula. So when we try them extra orally this is how the true anatomy irrigation needle delivers the irrigant through the side ports in a more apical direction and this is how the twin end needle was performing. This was throwing the irrigant more laterally or uh, in a more upward direction compared to the true anatomy irrigation needle. And during clinical usage, this is uh, lower for smaller. I was able to easily place the needle without pre-bending in the mesolingual canal and the distal canal. But since the dense ply true anatomy needles were pretty longer, it required a little bit of pre-bending to place the needle into inaccessible canal like the mesolingual canal in this scenario. I had to do this pre-bending to place the needle effectively. But in spite of the pre-bending, the flow is not affected and I am still able to perform the irrigation pretty easily. On the other hand, This is the twin end needle which is already pre-bent and it's also a little shorter in length compared to the true anatomy needle. So even in inaccessible canal or a difficult to access canal like mesolingual, P 
without pre-bending our mabel to place the needle directly into the mesolingual canal and as we already demonstrated you can see the throw of the needle more lateral I mean the throw of the earring in more lateral and more in a coronal direction so both these needles have some safety markings on the needle to determine the length, length of penetration inside the canal and when it comes to the cost the true anatomy irrigation needles are sold as a pack of 40 for 3900 rupees Indian money whereas the uh, twin dent are sold in a pack of 25 for 2750 rupees Indian money so what stands out for the true anatomy needle is the packaging because each syringe is given in a separate clean pack and the Sirona or the true anatomy needles it's clearly mentioned that it should not be reused and hence it's a single use disposable needle on the other hand the twin dent needles all the needles are delivered in the pack single pack and this particular brand the manufacturer claims that these needles can be autoclaved and also reused so, so though i do not use or reuse the needles but this is what the manufacturer claims so this may be beneficial for a few of you in terms of you know the economical aspect but altogether what we need to take back home from this video is that compared to the metal irrigation needle both these plastic irrigation needles are very effective and perform beautiful irrigation so it's just it's time to shift from the metal irrigation needle to these uh, extremely effective plastic irrigation needle that's the take home message of this video and thank you for watching and we are coming up with more such videos in the future